Hello everybody, Ian Robson, welcome back to another episode of <clears throat> FS19, <laughs> a little bit of a frog in my throat there, FS19, and we're on county line of course here, and we are working on this field right here, uh, this is the one we started off yesterday, and we're just finishing it up now, so the cool thing about this particular course we're working on right now with course play is the fact that we have it set up so it skips a pass, uh, which actually makes a pretty big difference here. So instead of going from here to the next one, it's actually going to go way, way over, which is pretty neat, actually. I think it is, at least, because that allows us to uh, make a wider turn in this scenario. Also, I have our sprayer currently doing a little bit of spring doing up that contract right there so we're at 67 percent of this contract so we're just trying to make some extra money because we have been lacking in that a little bit so that is the problem we have run into so let's go ahead and collect these bills up once again or collect some more of them up and uh will it work will we be able to plant something this late in the season and have it actually work that's what i'm kind of curious about i'm not so sure but we're gonna try nonetheless so because it is a little late I mean normally you'd plant something in the spring I guess you still have to wait till like summer almost I guess it's a late spring is when you could plant the uh, the soybeans so I don't know uh, these aren't silage yet but I'm just gonna get them off the field because if I just leave them there I could leave them there all year but I just want to get them out of the way so they're not there when I want to go potentially harvest again and get another another stack of bales this I guess I might be able to get something off from late fall I don't know if we late wait until early fall cut it like day one of early fall might be able to get something for late fall I'm not sure though that will be you know we'll see what happens there because I'm don't know if it's gonna go in that direction or not. We'll see. And our cows are still doing okay since last time. Nothing has changed. Excellent. Except the thing get darker and darker at night. So I'm just gonna get this thing planted right here before before it's too late. Basically. So I really like that that style of course generation. That is super slick being allowed to like skip a pass especially with that that particular cedar because that means you don't have to get so uh you don't have to make that uh narrow turn i mean still make a gigantic turn but it's not as gigantic toby gaming what's up how you doing this morning or it could be this evening well it's part of this evening I, I, at the latest it'd be this afternoon i guess it could be this evening if it were if you were like in australia i suppose Michael, what's up? Happy Friday from Australia. Happy Friday from Canada. Hello from Sweden. I actually watch a, there's a YouTube channel I watch from Sweden uh, called Canal Gratis, which is a fishing YouTube channel. They do stuff in Swedish and English. I think French sometimes in German as well. Very cool. They do a lot of pike fishing, which I like to see. So it's a very big sport out there. Whereas here in Canada, pike fishing is kind of like a, you hear people do it, but it's not as big as, let's say, walleye, for example. I think that's how I even found their channel. I think I was searching for like river fishing tips or something like that, because I was fishing in a river and I just needed some ideas. I don't think I ever caught a pike in that river anyways. It was a river, I guess, I guess, I guess there were some muskie and pike in there, but just never had any, uh, I never had any luck with them, but they were there, so I was told. Good, this is coming along nicely. Excellent, excellent. 9.05 p.m. Australia at the moment. I guess there are different time zones within Australia too, if memory serves. Is it cold in Canada, winter yet? Uh, we have seen a uh, below, I think tonight, today was supposed to be, or last night I should say, was supposed to be a below zero temperature, minus one C. Uh, it's not, it's still fall, so we still have trees with leaves on them, but that is gonna change very soon. Mm. 
and then it'll be winter back to the snow and it is cold it can be cold in Canada it can be really warm too though that's what makes Canada so bizarre like what do we have on the Tuesday we had like 25 degree day I think it was and then today last night was like minus one so a pretty big swing in temperature I mean it's not always like that but often you it's not unusual to see a, a swing like that in the fall at least where you get a warm day and you get a cold day hello from Korea hello Anyang is all I know Anyang Aseyo is all I know in Korean and outside that that's it all right only a few left here this is good uh, we're gonna store these ones outside because they are not affected by the weather like the hay is because they're wrapped yesterday was below zero today plus five yeah yeah you're kind of in the same boat that I am as I am uh, let's put these over here they have not fermented yet but we can leave them outside I am going to put them over here and let's put them uh, let me just do a, a loop here so the arms on the other side would make my life easier there we go uh, let's see if we can get a bit closer here That's good enough. There's lots of space there, so. Good, 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 good. Still fall though, yeah, exactly, same here. Good. Don't need that yet. For as long as he in that contract, uh, just this little bit's left here. That's not too bad, and he's doing the headlands now. This is excellent. So we'll definitely be able to finish planting, <laughs> but I'm not sure. It's, it's still maybe too late. I'm not sure. And this tractor still looks funny with uh, just the singles on it instead of the duels. It looks so dark without contractors too. <clears throat> In comparison to where I am right here on the map. Almost nine o'clock though. 33 degrees C in Australia and isn't even summer yet. Ugh. That's not cool. I couldn't I don't know if I could handle Australia. Too too warm. Because you guys get like 40 degree days in the summer, and that's like not super unusual. Alright. This is the last load for this. Shouldn't be too bad. You can see our money's fat quickly going down. That's from the sprayer. That's fine. Once he completes that contract, we'll make some money back. Uh, for winter, it's common to minus 19 degrees. Yeah, it's not too uncommon here. That's pretty normal. We get some minus what did we get last year? I think it was my close, close day I can remember. It was like minus 30, I think it was. I mean, if you don't factor in like how cold it feels with the wind, but I think it was 30 degrees. See, where I live, at least. If you go out to like Manitoba, it gets colder. In Winnipeg, like minus 35 is not unusual, minus 40. There's always always one or two weeks it re reaches 47 degrees. Oh gosh, I couldn't imagine that. And they probably don't, don't even do anything. They probably don't shut anything down. They just say, oh, heat warning in effect, be careful outside. <laughs> or everyone goes to the beach, you know, one or the other. I'm being in Australia. It depends where you live in Australia, I suppose, but. There you go. We got, what, three rails left, four rails left? Perfect. And then by the time we get this, the seating will be done as well. That's excellent. I really do like this auto stacker. <clears throat> it works really well. And I like how many it can carry, which is, you know, 
quite a few. 24 bales is pretty good actually. I think that's about as much as I can carry with uh, like the cheaty one, I suppose. I think, oh, maybe maybe a bit more than that actually, but. This works just fine for me. Good, we actually sell Anderson at work, which is kind of funny. I didn't realize that until after this <laughs> DLC came out. And then I started paying attention. I'm like, oh, we actually sell Anderson? Interesting. Good. That's the last of it. So we will leave the field and we will uh, leave it to grow once again. Good. And these aren't fermented yet anyways, so let's just do our loop like we did last time. And I'll be good to go. Uh, I could imagine just an Australian season. Hold on, yeah. I don't think there have been too many Australia maps in FS19. Not that I can remember, at least. There we go. Good. That's that. No, didn't like that. All right, let's check these bales. I, I know they're not silage, but yeah, 23 hours ago, so a day. That's fine. That's what I expected, so. <clears throat> Country Gaming, what's up? How are you doing today? We were just talking about Australia's heat and how much you love it. All right, uh, where can we put this? Let's put this in that right there. Perfect. Well, almost perfect. That should be good. Nice. Okay. So that should be our cows taken care of for the most part, which is excellent. Let's go ahead and grab this mixer here. There is one Australia map for FS19 that I know it's called Western Australia 4X. It's not a huge map then, just a normal map, I guess. Eight thousand liters TMR. There we go. Top our cows off, which is not very much they needed apparently. That's okay. They're gonna need some more in a second anyways here, so let's just let me chill out here. Okay, we can move you all the way back now. It's funny, because this tractor is the one we actually own. I don't know, I like this one. I just wish there was more horsepower. What's that again? We only had 13 today. Oh, that's not too bad then. 13's a nice temperature. I don't know what the uh, the recorded temperature was, but the when they anticipated what the temperature was going to be, it was going to be minus one last night, so... <clears throat> don't know if that's actually going to be the case or not. Oh, what is that big bud doing? see it doing like some sort of weird dance over there. Uh, what is it doing? Why is it even trying to do that, that turn? Oh goodness. Let's see. Turn on field deactivated. 
it trying to go? Because that's where it started. It's not just trying to go. It looks like it's trying to go down here. I just don't know why that has such a big problem for it. Hmm. Yeah, could definitely do the other one. That was weird that I couldn't make that turn. Oh well. Uh, last winter it was minus twenty five degrees C here. It was in the military. It was in the military one winter. It was forty eight. Oh wow, that's quite cold. That's even well, yeah, even for Sweden. Yeah, that is quite chilly. Is it gonna have the same problem here, or is it gonna be fine? Yeah, totally fine. I don't know. I'll never understand it. Okay, well, at least that's that. I don't think, it looks like there's a little spots here where it hasn't been fully fertilized, and that's because that didn't get cultivated under, so. so let's just see on the corner down here. We'll see what's going to happen, so you can see there's little spots right there where it never got cultivated. And right there. But for the most part, it's done. I don't know, we'll see if the beans come through or not. They may get an early frost. Yeah, see there's little spots right there. From where it didn't get for cultivated. Okay, that's fine, he's just finishing up there. Well, let's take this and put it away. Now, do we actually own this cultivator or do we just rent it? Survey says, least items. We rented this at uh, 12 meters. I put six and a half hours on that apparently. We can uh, return that then. I think we will upgrade next season. Perf. Yep. But we actually own the tractor, so. Uh, that'll work. Let's move this back to the main farm. And that tractor over there is going to be finishing up that last pass soon. Which will be good. So, we're going to use the Fent, I think, for, uh, for the grain wagon, because this one doesn't have a PTO. Even though it's gigantic. It's cheap horsepower, but not very fuel efficient. So take that as you <laughs> take it as you as you will, basically. So um, there we go. Good. We still have bale cell bill, and I don't know if we're actually gonna ever use it, but uh, it's there. Oh, fuel twenty three is finished. Let's go ahead and stop our sprayer. Because if it thinks it's finished, I mean, it doesn't give us any, there's no benefit to us actually finishing the rest of it. Bam. Nice. Fertilizing on field 24, which is right beside this one, I suspect. Right there. There. Covered some of our cost, which is excellent. Were we that much in the hole? I guess we were. 15,000. Um, should we progress the next day or should we? Hmm. Well, I need to wait for. Let's see what stage. I just don't know if there's going to be this contract tomorrow in the game because it is a fertilizing contract. I'd feel 24 or 56. 56,000. I guess we'll leave it for the time being. And he 
he's just finishing up there. Nine o'clock. This is just the last pass, and I believe it's coming up to the end, which is right over there. Nice. Let that finish up, and then we'll move on to day three of summer. <laughs> Good. Sip of coffee here. Good. And that should be that being finished. Excellent. I'm going to fold up now. There we go. Let's get off the fuel here. Well, let's wait for the hydrolox to pull this all together here. Yeah, it's one thing I don't like about the cedar. Like, you're kind of limited by the tractor. Like, you have like Axion. No. So, I guess this one could do it. Because you need, what, 590 for the cedar itself? Uh, let's see. I think it's what it is. 640, sorry. Yeah, so you are quite limited. So 640. So even with that MTD, or the MTD, the, uh, uh, the Challenger with the big engine in it, you're still not enough. So you have no choice but to use that one basically. So I think this one you can do it. It have just barely enough power, but it doesn't. And this is gonna be the same power basically, 646. And that one is too, that one's smaller. Yeah, so you're basically kind of you're stuck. You have no choice. Okay. I couldn't imagine seeing one of these in real life. It'd be gigantic. Um, let's go. Progress time here a little bit. We have no nobody in the field doing any work. Do you know Jim Bob on YouTube? He also likes farm sim. I did not know Jim Jim, Jim Bob offhand. There's so many YouTubers to know them all. All right, so we're gonna just leave this one, I think, over here out of the way, I believe. It's gonna be our best bet. Good, and let's progress to next day. It's like 12 hours of sleep. Let's see where we're at. Or 11 hours, sorry. Lease vehicles is 23,000. That's quite a bit. The game is synchronizing after fast forward. Yeah, I guess it's gotta, gotta synchronize. There's a song called Synchronize. This isn't good. Glad we got all that. <laughs> That's the reason why I was working so hard, to, or trying to get the uh, all the hay off before this happened. I don't know if there's any contracts. That, oh, there are some fertilizing contracts still available to us. I mean, we could, I don't know, fertilize in the rain, I suppose. That would be kind of funny. Clean this water straw. All right, let's take care of our cows real quick. We got some TMR here. Their TMR is fine. Oh, there it goes. It didn't make any sense. Like, what's going on here? I think it's neat how you have like a rear discharge on that one too. Just drive through a couple cows here, no problem. Good. I 
Uh, does it work all right? Cast prize, actually. I wouldn't have thought it would be powerful enough to move it around. Well, I'm not, that's not just like true. I figured it would work, I just wasn't sure how well. Like if you encounter a hill, for example, that's when you tend to have the biggest problems with that cedar. All right, give him a little bit of straw here. Oh wow, did the game really just crash on doing that? That was weird. It's like a little hesitation there. I guess the, <laughs> the computer's like, there's definitely more in there. Mm, not so much. Now are we out of straw? I think we are. We have to actually buy some straw. Because that's all hay in there. Now these should be fine, despite the fact that it's raining. Yeah, so there's still a 4,000. They're still good. And these ones. Right, silage now. I think the other ones are silage too now then. Let's do a little inspection. No, not quite yet. Okay, but they're good though. Alright, that is good. And the straw side, they need some more straw. I'm not going to buy straw. As soon as I buy it, it's going to start deteriorating. So I'm going to wait a little bit on that one. But I will grab the water trailer and do that. Ian, you should remember Lolo. You should remember Lolo. Head on the server. Yeah, I guess I did, didn't I? But not the, not the version that's uh, currently out, though. The version that's out right now is like a reworked version, as far as I understand, by uh, Oxygen David, if memory serves. And to the right is where the water drop off is. There we are. Uh, 18 kilometers per hour on, you know, that's not too bad actually, 16 kilometers per hour. It's not too bad. Water, we're not doing too badly here. I might have to upgrade this water container at some point. Because making up, like, you know, the number of trips I would have to normally make is ridiculous. There we go. Well, at least you're clean now. Or cleaning up, I guess. This is the tractor I was originally going to put on that cedar, but it's a little too underpowered. 500 horsepower is a far cry from 690. This is not the, f the big, big bud, it's just the, the small one. Let's power wash this thing you know, in the rain. Because why not? I mean, it's not doing its job. Good. It would actually take a long time to power wash this. In real life, there. Nice, nice, nice and fancy. Just going to tuck it away in here for now. Let's put it beside this. Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's as far as I understand. So, it looks pretty solid from what I saw. It seems to be the go to for a lot of people right now.
our maps. All right, let's put this rake away as well. Not sure if we're going to get to be able to, to dry the hay. I'm gonna, we'll definitely try. But I think we'll be okay. Now there is a placeable building. Uh, let's see. That would be animal pens, maybe? Water pump? No. Miscellaneous, maybe then. Bail cell point, fuel station, manure, export. No. Outdoor silo type A, 15 cubic feet, cubic meters, sorry, cubic feet. In ground storage. Oh, I see. It's only limited. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Mixed future. So this is 225,000. Eek. Don't have that laying around for that. For the mix grains for our animals. Yeah, let's just uh, progress a little bit faster here. And uh, actually, no, actually, that's that's <laughs> that grew a lot in, in one in one day. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Maybe we'll go to day one and fall real quick here, but then I have to get going off to work. And we'll just continue giving our cows a little bit of water here. I think there's a trailer somewhere that, has, that holds 32,000 liters of water. And there we are. This factor's way overkill for this little tiny trailer. <laughs> Uh, they're a little bit low on that, but uh, oh, actually producing milk now, 62 liters. This is good. I don't know if there's a way to check how much I have in store. Uh, let's see here. Animal loading, activate fans. They may want the fans on. Uh, this is probably the milk site over here. Let's take a quick peek. Milk loading. Does it show me how much I have? That's a big negative. Hmm. Okay. It does not. I thought it would, but I guess not. So, say lovey. We'll have to sell some milk next time though. Anyways, folks, that will be it for today. I have to get off to work. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more FS19 counter lines. So next time, hopefully we'll be working on something a bit different. Well, we definitely will be just a question of what. But I'll see that you in the next stream. Ready to go watch. Okay. I'll catch you guys later. My name is Ian Robson once again, and have yourselves a good Friday.